Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to find the support reactions and how to draw the bending moment diagram for a parabolic three-hinged arch. I have been given a question which states that a parabolic arch is subjected to a two concentrated loads as shown in a figure below. We have to determine the support reactions and also draw the bending moment diagram for this arch. Okay, you can see this is a, a three-hinged uh, parabolic arch. Uh, with two hinges at uh, A and E and the third one at, at the top at point C. Okay, There are two concentrated loads acting on this arch. One is uh, having magnitude 50 Newton and another one is having magnitude 20 Newton. And the total uh, rise of this arch, uh, this is uh, 10 meters. Okay, 8 plus 2, this is uh, 10 meter. Okay. First, uh, you will draw a free body diagram of this arch, okay? And you will assume the direction of the forces, that is the support reactions as shown in the FPD. So we are assuming that this um, AX and AX, this acts towards the right, EX, this acts towards the left, and AY and EY, uh, these act in the upward direction respectively, okay? After uh, assuming the uh, direction of these uh, uh, reactions, now you will take the movement uh, of the forces about the left support A. You can take about A or about E to find the reactions. Okay, so we will uh, take the movement about the left support A equal to zero. Okay, and we will assume that clockwise movements are positive and anti-clockwise movements are negative. Okay, so first uh, movement will be of 50 Newton. Okay. 50 uh, and the distance of 50 newton from a is 8 meter 50 into 8 this is in the clockwise direction okay so it will be positive after that we have the moment of 20 newton okay its distance from a is 8 plus 12 plus 15 which is 35 meter okay it's again in the clockwise direction and then we have the moment of support reaction ey about a total uh, distance between E and A is 40 meter and this movement this is in the anti-clockwise direction okay so it will be negative okay movement of AX AY and EX about A is zero okay uh, because the uh, liver arm this is zero so from this you will get the value of EY equal 27.5 Newton since the value of EY is positive it means our assumed direction of the force EY is uh, correct okay so it acts in the upward direction after that you will uh, take the vertical equilibrium of forces okay we have uh, a y plus e y this should be equal to 50 plus 20 okay or we can assume that uh, force in the upward direction are positive and uh, force in the downward direction are negative okay so it will be a y plus e y minus 50 minus 20 this is equal to zero putting value of a y you can calculate the value of uh sorry putting value of ey you can calculate the value of ay which is 42.5 newton again this is positive so our assumed direction of ay is uh, also correct it acts in the upward direction okay now you know the two vertical reactions ey and ay you can calculate the horizontal reactions ax and ex okay to calculate the horizontal reactions you will this time take the movement about the hinge uh, support that is a third hinge c okay so taking movements about hinge at c equal to zero again uh, assuming clockwise movements as positive and anti-clockwise as negative so movement of ax uh, about c this will be in the anti-clockwise direction and the distance between uh, ax and c uh, that is the liver arm this is 10 meter okay and movement of a y about c this is in the clockwise direction okay this is in the clockwise direction distance between uh, liver arm is 20 meter okay and movement of 50 newton about c uh, this uh, is again anti-clockwise movement and the distance between 50 newton and c is 12 meter okay so we are considering only this portion of the arch that is portion ac and taking the movement about c from this we will find the value of ax okay so putting value of ay uh, equal to 42.5 newton we have minus ax into 10 plus 42.5 into 20 minus 15 to 12 is equal to 0 from this you will get the value of ax equal to 25 newton again this is positive it means our assumed direction is correct it acts uh, towards the right direction okay and uh, to calculate the value of ex you will uh, 
I take the horizontal equilibrium of forces equal to zero. So AX minus EX because only these two forces are acting in the horizontal direction. So if let us assume that force in the right direction are positive and force in the left direction are negative. So it will be AX minus EX is equal to zero. Putting value of AX equal to 25, you will get the value of EX also 25 Newton and it acts towards the left. Okay. So after finding the uh, vertical as well as the horizontal reactions, now you can draw the bending moment diagram for this arch. Okay. Uh, to draw the bending moment diagram for this arch, first you need to find the ordinate uh, at the point B and D. Okay. Because we don't know what is the ordinate at uh, uh, this point B and at point D. So we need to find the ordinate at B and D. D okay to draw the bending moment diagram of this arch uh, we have to find the ordinates at uh, these uh, sections of the concentrated loads using the equation of the ordinate of a parabola okay and it is given as y is equal to 4 hx uh, multiplied by l minus x divided by l square okay y is the ordinate at a distance x uh, from the this uh, support okay uh, so h this is the total rise of the parabolic arch which in this case is 8 plus 2 10 meter x is the distance at which we have to calculate the ordinate and l this is the length of this total length of this parabolic arch okay so at x is equal to 8 meter okay because we have to find at point b uh, y will be 4 into 10 multiplied by 8 minus uh, sorry into 40 minus 8 divided by 40 square this is equal to 6.4 meter it means that ordinate of this parabolic arch at point b is 6.4 meter okay similarly at x is equal to 5 meter we will calculate this from point e at x is equal to uh, you have to always take it from the extreme end okay so at d you will take it from point e so again at x is equal to 5 meter ordinate will be 4 into 10 into 5 into 40 minus 5 divided by 40 square which is 4.375 meter okay this is the ordinate at point d now you can calculate the bending moment uh, diagram for this arch okay so again uh, you can see the free body diagram and the uh, general loading diagram of this arch okay so bending moment diagram again we will assume that clockwise moments are positive and anti-clockwise are negative so first moment about a this will be equal to zero okay uh, because it's a hinge support moment about b this will be minus ax into 6.4 moment of a x about b this will be anti-clockwise and the ordinate at point b is 6.4 which we calculated earlier plus a y into 8 a y okay distance of a y distance sorry lever arm of a y from point b okay this is 8 meter okay this distance and this moment is clockwise okay so it will be minus 25 which is the value of ax into 6.4 plus 42.5 into 8 which is equal to 180 newton meter this is the value of moment at point b so movement at uh, point c bending movement at point c this will be equal to zero because it's a hinge support okay and uh, movement at point d again this will be ax multiplied by the ordinate at d which is 4.375 which we calculated earlier and this movement this is in the anti-clockwise direction okay this is the arm so this movement will be acting in the anti-clockwise direction plus a y into 35 okay liver arm of a y from d is 8 plus 12 plus 15 which is 35 and this movement is clockwise and minus 50 into 27 okay movement of 50 newton about point d distance between 50 newton and point d liver arm this is 12 plus 15 which is uh, 27 okay so the value of this movement at point d this will be equal to 28.13 newton meter okay uh, similarly moment at point e bending moment at point e this will be minus ax into zero because liver arm of ax about point e this is zero okay so minus ax into zero plus ay into 40 distance uh, or liver arm of ay about point e is 40 meter uh, minus 15 to 32 okay this 50 newton liver arm of 15 newton about point e this is 12 plus 15 plus 5 
which is 32 and this is uh, this movement is in the anti-clockwise direction okay minus 20 into 5 movement of 20 newton about point e this is again in the anti-clockwise direction and lever arm of 20 newton about point e is 5 meter okay so this movement putting values of a y this movement will be equal to 0 okay movement at point a point c and point e will be 0 because these are hinge supports okay movement at hinges always 0 okay so movement uh, at concentrated load b this is 180 newton meter and movement at concentrated load d this is 28.13 newton meter okay you can see the final bending movement diagram for this arch which is shown below okay movement at the first concentrated load is 180 newton meter and movement at the second concentrated load is 28.13 newton meter okay because these are concentrated loads so bending movement diagram will be linear and this is positive so it will be above this line okay uh, you can say whole bending movement diagram is positive okay movement at this point this point at this point is zero okay so this is how you can calculate the support reactions as well as how to draw the bending movement diagram for a parabolic uh, three hinged arch okay uh, I hope this solution video was clear and you learned something new from this video. If you still have doubts, you can write your doubts in the comment box and I will answer, try to answer your doubts. Okay. Also, I will uh, solve some more questions on the arches, uh, taking the two hinged arch and three hinged arch having different loading conditions. Okay. So if you found this video helpful, uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.